If you would like this hat or other merch for yourself, please check out my new store at Teespring. Find it in the description down below. Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, yeah, we just talked to Nettie. She gave us a little bit more information about what's going on with these tadpoles and that they are fundamentally different than what she's ever experienced with anybody else who was being turned into, well, one of these mind flayers. So, definitely some mysteries to solve here, huh? Okay, empty socket there. A tidy slot, but no rune. Something over there. Oh. Thank you, good sir, whoever saw that. I think it was Will. It's broken, but not too badly. Okay, they only glow for a second. We're going to need to find whatever that other slab is. Okay, that's not giving us any clues. lock to pick how hard do we expect this to be i can't even see a lock to pick interesting there's work to do let's get this lock to yield i can't even see a lock to pick okay so either we don't have the requisite skill in lock picking to do this or it's just telling us hey lock picking is not going to be the way you're going to get through this one whatever the slab thing is might be what unlocks that hard to say for sure On antidotes. Something over there. Yeah, that sounded important. This might be important. I wonder if this will give us Why new recipes. No, don't a, go there. A deep crease in the spine makes this uh, booklet fall open to reveal one recipe in particular. Neat writing in the corner marks it as an antidote for all known potions. This is it, the recipe that made me decide to publish my notes. The story might not interest you, but I shall record it for posterity. Feel free to skip to the actual recipe. I was sitting in the elf song, sipping my usual hot cocoa. The heat soothing the pain in my scaleless hands. A small child, human, stumbled through the door, sick as a dog. All the other patrons seemed like they wanted to help, and nobody could pay for an antidote for a stranger's child. Meanwhile, the ingredients were just lying around in the kitchen. Every single one of those people could have saved that child. But only I knew how. It felt like a crime. Recipe for one bottle of antidote. Salt to mugwort. Suspension of bullywug trumpet. Method. Slowly trinkle salt into suspension. Stir clockwise until the concoction's consistency turns almost chewable. It might turn slightly green, but this is purely aesthetic and has no effect on the antidote itself. And remember, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. Okay. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? All right, I think we're done in here for now. I don't want to kill anyone, Come on. but I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. Haven't been in here yet. Servants' quarters. Grove artifacts? Is that a tablet to read? It is. It catalogs various magical artifacts of druidic nature. One particular entry has been outlined, Idol of Sylvanus. A ritual relic formed from the wood and resin of an oak touched by the forest father himself. Pray to it quietly to reap Sylvanus' blessing and commune with nature. Below the entry, a chalk note snakes across the stone. So much more. More prayer, more power, right of thorns. Man, I cannot figure out why anybody would ever want that. I really can't. Okay. Out of sight, out of mind. Just curious, what's in there? 
best be on my way. I don't need any attention right now. Whoops. I meant to escape out of that, not take whatever was in there. I don't even know what I took. I just saw that that wolf was coming and I was like, I don't want to get caught. Didn't want to get caught looking in their chest. Was it empty? Totally missed it. Okay, so we got a couple goals here. Yes. Yes, I see. I could understand you. Moon, sun, oh, remind me. No, that doesn't work. Damn it. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Please make it stop. Oh, squirrels, you don't got to do her like that. Shh, you're ruining the song. Don't you think it's awful? <laughs> We'll save you. I've heard better, oh, but she's not so. that bad. The critters start a duet of their <laughs> own, attempting to drown out the bard's music. <laughs> they look at you expectantly. Honestly, I'm impressed. Wow. Bravo, you could go on tour with talent like that. Of course. We are born performers. Unlike some. Oh, so rude. I'm so glad that she doesn't have speak with animals. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. I mean, she's not the best, but she's not as bad as those poor squirrels made her out to be. A little bit more confidence in that voice and she'd nail it. What's that tune you're singing? More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. Are you alright? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Well, that's the creative process for you. Agony and ecstasy. Mostly agony. True. And when you finally perfect a song, there's nothing like it. But when you're stuck and it's just getting worse, oh. Can I help you finish it? Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first, what's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Keep going. What would you say to your teacher if she were here right now? That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you. For everything. All right. Well, that's what your lyrics need to say. Moon, moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait.
smile and pain will fade away words of mine will turn to ash when you calm the last light down who reminds me of your grace all the love i can't repay rest and know that i will pray farewell my dear old Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. Dance stars tonight smile and pain will fade away yeah i'm clapping too damn sorry damn well done <laughs> it's so passive aggressive <laughs> well would you look at this grove so lovely so, grove-like. Um, wow. I love the location you sang your song. Mmm. <laughs> that song was beautiful. It's worthy of a few tears. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I have a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. Alright, that was fantastic. What a great scene. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. The book is a clear work in progress, though already extensive, chronicling various musical styles and notations from across, from across Faerun. Amid the orderly symbols in black and ink, one page stands out. It is a wash in color and meandering arcs. The script below reads, My Conic Song by Agma. I hear it, and I see it, and I know it, and I feel it, but I can't write it, or can I? Uh, Mike and it are the mushroom people, right? We all know how well I roll for these. It's only a 10. Here comes my natural one. <laughs> uh, 
Why do I have such bad luck with lockpicks? Thank you. Can never get it in one, can I? <laughs> That's what I get for not having a rogue. The Cap of Curing. Soothing songs when you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration. They also regain one to six points. Huh. Well, we don't have a bard, but look at that. Gale can absorb this item's magic, destroying it. So, like, this is probably what we're going to use. Because nobody else is going to be using that. A long road ahead. Unless a bard joins our party, which I guess isn't out of the question. I don't know what other companions um, the developers haven't told us about yet. Investigate the beach. Where'd that one go? We heard strange music on the beach. Where is it coming from? You know what I'm realizing right now? When we u when we used detect thoughts in that dialogue, it did not use a spell slot. Oh, it doesn't take a spell slot because it's a ritual spell. It's just an action. Cool. I did not realize that. Turns out reading things carefully probably will keep you from doing shit like that. So, let me see if I can try and explain ritual spells. I'll, I'll let the game do it, because it, it can probably tell you what that means better than I can. So, ritual spells don't cost a spell slot when cast outside of combat. Um, a lot of times in actual D&D, there will be other components to it, like you'll have to spend like five minutes preparing it or something like that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. But obviously, you do have to do a roll. What's going on, kid? Shh. Listen. You shouldn't be standing out in the water. It's dangerous. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. I don't hear anything. Come back to the shore. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Harpies. It's a siren song. still have our symbiotic. I think that we might have more potential. Yeah, we have more potential from our opportunity. Yep. Okay, saved on the luring song. Alright, who's singing, actually? I think it's you, right? So, concentration luring song. So this person right here, we want to try and hit them because if we can knock out their concentration for the luring song, then nobody else will have to make saves on this. So I think that's going to be what I'm going to try and do. Um, I'm going to move up here and maybe we'll have to do bone chill. 55, huh? 
Do I have anything else I can do? It's higher. Now 55 is what we're getting. And yeah, I'm gonna try and do it with a cantrip. Concentration broken. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, lost our symbiotic. Might wild shape next turn. Okay. Now let's see, they're all down here right now. Well, that's actually good. They could fly up to higher areas. Um, there's one right in front of me. Um, let's see, is he close enough that I'm... Okay, we're not getting disadvantaged, so he's not that close. Let's see, what do I want to do here? I thought I got rid of Witch Bolt. Maybe when we leveled up, it got put back into a slot. Let's see, 1d12... 318 2d12 That hurts, that was one of our second level spell slots Maybe, maybe if I would have gone up here first, we would have had a better chance because we would have had high ground. I got to start doing things like that more. What's the plan? Okay, spiritual weapon. A maul, halberd, great sword, great axe, a trident, or a spear. A spear, I guess. Okay, it got to roll its own initiative, so we'll be able to use that soon. One can't always be a gentleman. Okay, what do we want to do then? Eldritch, 1d10. Our regular sword is uh, 1d8 plus 1. And let's see. Pack to the blade. Oh yeah, I probably should have done that earlier, huh? That would have helped us. Okay, 3 to 24 on this. I kind of just... Ooh, you know what? No, this has an AoE. Disadvantage because we're so close. Now, push is a bonus action. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, fine. Yeah. Ooh, don't get... Okay, he was smart. He was smart. I thought he was going to get an opportunity attack on him. <laughs> he went around it. Okay, so what can you do? Piercing strike? Inflict gaping wounds. And you can fly. Oh my god, we're rolling terribly. Okay, fine. Does this thing have an H? It does have an HP pool. 26 HP? Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna have you... How far can you get, bro? Okay, never mind. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh well. Okay, good, we saved. I don't know what that save is. Kind of interested in finding out. I wonder if it'll tell me. No, I don't know what the save is. Um, okay, let's... Yeah, 
Yeah, and that's guaranteed to do uh, damage. But notice that he they saved on their concentration, so the luring song will continue. Okay, it does take a full action to wild shape. Might do that next turn. We'll see where our health is. Okay, so with Moonbeam... Okay, so it's guaranteed to start its turn in the light, too. So it's going to take another 2d10 at that point. That's really awesome. <laughs> um, do notice that down there it does say on save that the target uh, still will take half damage. So in other words, like even if they roll a saving throw and they get it, um, it'll, it does half the damage instead of full damage. So we'll still get something out of it, no matter what. In fact, did, did they save on the first one or not? 10 radiant damage. It looks like, uh... Okay, that was its... Saving throw. 2d10, we rolled 10. But I don't think that they got their saving throw, so we did a full 10. Okay, he has a low AC, so it's pretty easy to hit him. Wow, tried to move away afterwards. Okay, everybody's saving. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Um, Alright, which one are you? You're the next one to go after all of that. You may... Mm, I still need to try and drop their concentration. Okay, concentration was broken. I'll make you pay. Kind of curious to know if each one of those individual hits rolled a new concentration check or not. I actually don't know. Concentrate. Okay. Piercing shot, no. Bludgeoning can daze a target. Two to seven damage. Two to seven damage. Battle favors the fearless. Where do I go from here? This is my time. Wait. Did that not work? Time to push my luck again. Hello. Okay, it doesn't want to let me do that. That's fine. I wanted to give him a potion, but... Okay, we're gonna try and shatter both of them. I Can this even be dodged? I don't think it can. Okay, this is gonna be good damage if that's the case. Okay, so shatter's good. <laughs> and flourish is actually a bonus action. Look at that. Cool. Um, he's probably going down, though. <laughs> Smart kid. Okay, he's gonna die from Moonbeam. These two have taken some decent damage. Ooh, advantage. Is that from Shatter? Okay, one down. Alright, maybe I should read this. Fly to a target position six meters away. Eh, whatever. I'm guessing that it's using our movement, but... 
the feedback on how that's working is a little bit weird to me. Not a big deal. Okay. I am going to... I only have one more wild shape, but let's go ahead and do it. Don't be scared, Shadowheart. Um, and notice that it does give me a new uh, HP pool. My old HP pool still does exist underneath it, so... Okay, Moonbeam was concentration and it just got broken. Okay, she resisted, Gale did not. Okay, that's a 65, that's a 50. Now just run up and smack him, yes? Yes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn it. He got lured too, but at least he's far away. We had it under control. Come on, 75. It's all going south now. Um, do I? No, I don't think I can disengage. I'm going to take an attack of opportunity if I do this. I only have 11 HP. We're still alive. And we have advantage. Okay, I just really wanted to break that. I see you now for what you are. I'll make you pay. Okay, came out of our wild shape. That's fine. I was there to tank some damage. All right, we're still in this. We're still in this. Um, I think you have... Uh, what can you do? You have Thunder Wave. That's getting both and not getting any of ours, right? Okay, you're gonna have to stay in the thick of it, bro. Um, maybe... If I can shove you back. Damn. I mean, he doesn't have a good strength modifier, so it's not likely to happen, but still worth trying, because we're going to run out of space over here. This is my time. You find well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. All right. All right. Full hero. Got another inspiration point. Go back to your parents. There's worse in the wild than harpies. They're, they're gone. Now there's just Mole. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. He disappeared into a hole. I already met Donnie. <laughs> going. Okay, short rest. Pushing on. We get our wild shapes back. Symbiotic entity. Um, we should. Yep, we still have to speak with animals. Um, what else did we need to pop? That's right. For Five you, we need to... Oh, look, you got that bonus uh, HP from killing an enemy. Cool. <laughs> um, All right, let's have this talk with Gale real quick. That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. Met with a lot of harpies, did you? And worse. <laughs> One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a Tressim. Ah, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Well, that depends on who you ask, I suppose. 
I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. Um, such as? There was that magma method once. Oh, smart. Nice fellow. We kept in touch. <laughs> of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Yep, checks out. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for us. Yeah, honestly, that went well. That can be a pretty difficult fight. All right, so let me try to understand this weapon thing again. So Pack to the Blade takes an action. Um, hold on. Hold on. So there's two different types, right? There's the Pack to the Blade and then Bind Packed Weapon. That one lasts until long rest. This one is once per battle. This one gives you a new weapon. This one binds your current weapon. And our current weapon is a 1d8 plus 1. 2 to 9 damage. Okay, since this doesn't cost a warlock thing or anything, we can test this out. I'm just interested in seeing what the damage of these can do. So let's say that I did a... I mean, a lot of great swords are like 1d10, so I'm assuming that if I did that, it would be a 1d10 weapon, right? The question is, is does your proficiencies matter with one of these? Probably not, right? So, like, he wouldn't have proficiency with this, where he would have proficiency with a glaive. Okay. A 2d6. What does this exclamation mean? Maybe that it's just like a magical weapon that has been summoned in or something? This gives him lots of options, because each of these weapons have these different um, abilities. Okay. So if we had a better weapon, a magical weapon for instance, this one would probably end up being the one that you use more often. But before we go into fights, we can just do this. It'll last each individual encounter, it sounds like. And this one can last until the long rest. But if we choose to do this one, you can't switch to this one, because these can't be unequipped. You become proficient with it if you weren't already. I did not notice that. So basically, he can use any weapon. In this class, he can use anything. Huh. That's really cool. Um, we should find out if he has any... Um, no one stopped me yet. He should have some range proficiencies, right? People. Let's see, where's that? In here? Um, and... There. Short bows. Light crossbows. Okay. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. Okay, so the next time we find a bow, we actually want to give it to him. Hmm. Oh, I have the magic touch. We're a long way from Waterdeep. At least things have stayed interesting. What's in here? Okay, got both of them. Never wanted the easy path. I think it was just the four, right? That one just had a skull.
Man, that kid said there was gold up here. Where's this gold? Where's this gold you speak of? Um, looks like there's an area back there that we can go to. There was no perception checks. Oh. Maybe it's there. Something good here, I hope. There we go. Okay, looks like this might have been an alternate way around here. Maybe? Or maybe this just leads to something else. Oh wow, it keeps going. Look at the map. Oh no. Um, does anybody have a long jump spell? We don't have our Gith Yankee, who does have a long jump ability, but do we? We do. Enhance Leap. There we go. Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. Oh, hell yeah. Color spray ring? Cool. Awesome. Who do I want to have a color spray ring? Oh, I'm sorry, it says. Miriam, I'm sorry it's been so long since I've written. A lot has happened. First, some good news. Maggie Two Fingers won't be bothering you anymore. I paid her back in full. I'm sorry. She should never have got your name in the first place. Now for the bad news. My love, I'm not coming home. Not for a while, at least. The money came from a mercenary group. Probably best I don't give their name. And I've agreed to a couple jobs in Icewind Dale in return. They paid me up front because, gods, it's so strange to write it. Because they needed a warlock. They needed me. I took the deal the Cambion offered. I'm not going to say I had no choice, because that would be a lie. But I don't regret it. Okay, so his patron is a Cambion, a devil. I'm a new man. I feel strong for the first time in my life. Aside from being awoken in the middle of the night by the smell of sulfur, he likes to drop by to see how everything is going. I have no complaints. If you don't reply to this letter, I understand, and if you don't want me to come back at all, well, I understand that too. I love you, Miriam, and I want you to be happy, even if it's not with me. Edmund. It's kind of sad. An inscrutable journal as well. Where's that? I don't see it. There it is. We followed Musharib's instructions so far, but something feels odd. We've encountered no creatures along the way. Only alien noises from all directions. Harpies. Sleep evades us, and the muck of my boots has hardened into a permanent feature. Hopefully we find... Blank, blank, blank. Lost more hair this morning. I knew there were side effects to coming back, but I didn't expect it to be so... Blank, blank, blank. I hear him laughing. The lamentations of the o... Omuans? Droning like a chorus. What is the purpose of this hellhole? He speaks through the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Is he the tomb? Is he... On the last legible page is a crudely drawn, charcoal outline of a bearded devil's face, its mouth agape in a silent scream. Hmm. Maybe something we'll run into or experience at some point. I think I'm going to put those... Where's that little bag that I had? Come on, I had a pouch. Is it, oh, that's the pouch, okay. Yeah, so we're just putting like random things that might be quest stuff later in this pouch right here. We definitely don't need that anymore, do we? 
That was what helped us get uh, Shadowheart out of her little pod. Whoops, what did I just do? There we go. What does custom do? No idea. Somebody let me know in the comments. I don't know what custom does. Sorry, what? Did you guys change my key bindings? That is not the right thing. I had a bunch of custom key bindings and I think they changed them back. Um, so yep, I changed those to the numpad. And yep, these came back. I had these cleared for a reason, Larian. Stop putting them back. This is the second time I've had to do this. Okay. There we go. So now, one goes to my... Yep, okay. Two, three, four. Defender of the people. All right, what now? Okay, now what happened to my weapon? <laughs> um... All right, I feel like I'm losing my mind. So I made it. I made a save, and then I went back to the previous save to see what I had equipped, and I apparently had this one equipped. I could have sworn that I bought a magical. I could have sworn I did. I thought I bought a, a new quarter staff at that shop, but maybe I didn't, and I'm just losing my mind. Or somewhere along the line, I messed up and sold it or something. But I don't know how I would have done that. All right, anyways, we're going to move on. Um, maybe we'll go back to that shop and see if that... If the staff I'm thinking about is there or something. Weird. I have... That's so weird. Oh, not going that way. Going this way. Whoops. See if there's anything to perceive up here. Nope. Okay, I want to go that way, and I also want to go that way, just in case there's some kind of perception check somewhere in one of these. Frontiers. That's Was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swap me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. <laughs> Ooh. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. I couldn't tell on the map if that was a thing or not. That's curious. Well, cool.
Found something for you, Will. Sharp as ever. No time to rest. Okay. Don't think there's anything over there. Doesn't look like it according to the map either. Nope, nothing there. All right, we're going to try Hmm. Yeah, let's let, let's just see. So that's a ritual too. Uh, you guys can come this way, you know. What's next, I wonder? Okay, everybody's with us. We're good. Have you wondered what people will say, Will? When they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint there. So look at that on the map. Does that mean he can sell things to us too? Yes, or... yes I see. And pardon me, I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. All right, he has some things. The Whispering Promise. When you heal a creature, you gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws for two turns. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay. Yes, I see. Blind creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. Oh, I do wish I could understand you. Yeah, rings are separate, so I can... Who do I want to have this? When you heal a creature. So it's probably going to be you, Shadowheart. Um, you have some heals too, but Shadowheart's probably doing it the most. I guess it's pretty even, but... And then who do I want to have Color Spray? I think I'll give that one to Will. My faith will guide me. The Pride of the Gate. Let's move. Moving in. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? Think you could stand back a ways, pal? Rude. Is Donnie back? Donnie's back. Okay. Where the hells did you disappear to before? Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. 
Okay, we'll do a persuasion. Is it a chest? A door? Can you show me where it is? <clears throat> Rude. Donnie, isn't it? I want to see the dragon's lair. I helped out your friend. You're gonna show me. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. There we go. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. Finally, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> all right, you're all right, Donnie. Hello? His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Weird. Okay, now we can go in the concealed hatch. All right, so we'll check this out in the next episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlada101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba90, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.